Farmers here in our state are really concerned about the fall and winter seasons because of the ongoing drought. Farmers are working overtime and many are losing their crops. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Aaron Edwards is joining us live right now from Woodbury with a look at how farms in the area are getting by in this really dry weather. It's nice, Aaron, but it's bad for them. Right, Mark and Irene, it's beautiful out, but these conditions are very tricky for farmers. Now, last year, the farm in Woodbury here, they had some crops that were underwater, and this year they're hoping for at least just a little bit of rain. So last year we were standing in two feet of mud out here, and this year we're standing in dust. It's been a sunny and hot summer so far, and that might be nice for your beach day or outdoor barbecue, but for farmers, these conditions are a problem. The farm in Woodbury says impacts from this stage two drought are yet to be seen. But their biggest concern is their sunflowers. Every year, the farm holds a sunflower festival. We have to let the crop grow in order to see, so time will tell. Meanwhile, in Warren, and it is very taxing. Angevine Farm is working to keep their small trees alive. We have about 3,000 of the transplants that we have to hand water, and it takes about three days for us personally to go through our transplants and water every single one of them. Lisa Angevine Bergs co owns the farm and is also executive director of the Connecticut Christmas Tree Growers Association. A lot of farms are irrigating and it's absolutely necessary. Irrigating will help, but what these farms all need is a little rain. So Mother Nature holds the key. Now, these drought conditions do impact the water supply. The Regional Water Authority just sent out a notice today asking customers to reduce water use. I'll have more on that coming up at 6 o'clock tonight. We're live in Woodbury. Aaron Edwards, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.